Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Wallet review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. My name is David. My name is David and this is my social media platform where I get to review magic tricks, both the latest and the greatest. I open the box and I tell you exactly what's inside. I unbox things, okay? In short, <laughs> I unbox magic tricks so that you know exactly what your money gets you, right? This is your money. And a lot of times tricks are expensive. And so are you gonna get the trick that you want? Is it gonna do what you want it to do? And I love wallets. I do, I love magic wallets. If you've watched my channel for any amount of time, uh, you know I love to review magic wallets. I have more magic wallet reviews on this channel than any other magic review channel because I love them. I love them, right? Um, they get sent to me, I buy them myself, uh, I, just, I just hoard them. <laughs> and so uh, it's my pleasure to talk to you today about the Comet wallet from Andrew Dean. Andrew Dean was kind enough to send this to me and first off, right off the top, I wanna tell you that this is available in multiple colors. So you can get this in a black, a gold, or silver, or blue. You can choose the color of the wallet, and I believe the insert. So there's several out there. Um, so check your local magic dealer, find out which colors they offer, and, and pick the one that works the best for you. The cool thing is, is this is a minimalist wallet. It's a minimalist wallet, uh, really made just to hold uh, ID and, and credit cards and maybe a, a few business cards, and that's it. So it doesn't have to look like your everyday wallet. So it doesn't have to be black or a standard everyday wallet color. It is 80 bucks, right? It is $80, it is real leather. It's, and it's a beautifully made wallet. In fact, even just looking at the wallet as a magician, there's no obvious bells and whistles or telltale signs that are like, oh, see this? This is glaringly obvious. That this is the magic wallet. It almost looks like an everyday wallet that Andrew just found and then found ways to make it magical, right? It, it really, uh, I think, would pass a casual inspection. All right, so what does the Comet wallet do? What is it? Um, in short, it is card to wallet, okay? It's card to wallet in a few different forms. He's gonna give you a couple different variations. He'll give you a full-size card to wallet where the card is left completely unfolded. He'll give you a, uh, a, a card folded in fourths reveal, and then a card folded in half reveal. So you'll get several different ways to make the card produce from the wallet. Plus, the wallet also has a very cool built-in peak. So let's talk about the Comet wallet. And a thing I think that separates my channel from everybody else, I like to show you everything. I wanna show you the packaging, and I wanna show you the product inside. I wanna give you nice, up-close visuals of everything, because I know you'd rather see the product then listen to my talking head the entire time, right? Just to see my face, that, that's, that's boring. So here's those options I was telling you about. Notice the, lo the leather wallet comes in black or brown. So that has to be black or brown, okay? But then the color of the insert is what changes. And like I was saying, you can just pick a fun insert color. It doesn't have to be standard black. It can, it can look uh, like anything you'd like. You get this nice drawer slide box, and then there is the leather wallet inside. So the irony is I was telling you that you don't have to be uh, traditional and then I went and, and the traditional route and got an all black leather wallet. And so this is really what it looks like up nice and close. So that's the back, that's the front, and you can tell it's the front because it has the little uh, initials there. This is just a, a kicker. So when you slide this across, it ejects credit cards out of this credit card slot. So you're gonna stick credit cards inside of this your, to, to make it your everyday. If you wanted a m nice minimalist wallet, this just ejects um, the cards. And your spectator could do it too. There's no trick about doing that. And here's the uh, front inside flat pocket. And here's a place that you could stick your ID or business cards. And so uh, this is the first reveal. So if you were gonna fold the card into fourths, it would come out of this pocket right here. But if you were gonna fold the card in half, it would eject out of the credit card slot. So once I click that slot right there, notice the card starts to eject and it would actually spring out with all your other credit cards. 
I, I don't, I'm not going to show you my credit cards. <laughs> I don't think that's wise, but uh, that would be the second. So if card folded in half, the second one, it would be ejected out of there. All right, what's the overall quality and production value of the video? The video is only 22 minutes long and it's going to be Andrew. He's in a living room style setting. He's seated on what looks like a pink couch or a very light red couch and he's got a table. He's going to give you an intro and then he's going to teach you first the standard card to wallet. First one he'll teach you is the full card, full size card reveal. It's actually not a true card to wallet. So you would have some angle issues from behind, but to your spectators, it sure looks like one. The second one he'll teach you is the Mercury card fold. That is from the inside flap that we saw earlier. Third is the folded in half where it pops out of the credit card ejector. And the fourth is a card to envelope and he will teach you how to make the homemade envelopes yourself. You'll get a template that you'll be able to use to make your own homemade envelopes. And uh, at the 12 minute mark, he kind of walks you through all of that. And then uh, that's everything. That's everything that you're going to get uh, with the wallet. So he's going to give you just a fast overview of each one of those uh, various methods. And so that kind of uh, implies, when I would say, how hard is this? It would kind of imply that you need to be familiar with some of those things already. You need to be familiar with doing a Mercury card fold. He's not going to hold your hand. Uh, he's not going to hold your hand uh, about palming or loading. He'll give you tips and advice, but I would think that this wallet would uh, be more geared towards a intermediate magician who's already done some card to wallet magic in their life. The video at being only 22 minutes and you just doesn't have the time to walk you through all the steps if you were a beginner. Pocket space. How big is this? Um, one of my smallest wallets that's similar, similar in shape and style, uh, would be the Viper wallet. And I would say this wallet is smaller than the Viper wallet. I'll show you uh, side by side uh, what they look like and uh, one on top of the other. So Comet is smaller than Viper. It is one of the smallest card to wallets slash peak wallets I've ever had. So it's a very small wallet. So if you want minimal impact on your person, you want to carry something that's small, um, this one's great. And another uh, argument why uh, this doesn't have to be your everyday wallet, okay? Your everyday wallet takes up space already in your back pocket, right? You're not going to leave home without it. But some magicians have said, well, I don't want to carry two wallets. I don't want to carry two wallets. Well, what you mean by that is you don't want to carry two full-size wallets, right? Because that just seems bulky and awkward. But if you pulled the Comet out, I don't think it looks to your audience like your everyday wallet. So there's no need to put cash in it or put your ID in it. I think just the size of it alone and the way it's built, it, it could just be your business card wallet, right? It could just be the place where you hold billets. When you do that uh, credit card ejector, it doesn't have to eject uh, credit cards. It could eject your billets, right? So this could be an easy mentalist wallet that also doubles as card wallet, right? Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I was saying earlier that I think it could be inspected casually. I think that some of the, there's, you know, two bells, two whistles, right? But I don't think your spectator would find them on a casual inspection. But slights and difficulty level, uh, you will need to know how to control a card to the top on your own. Uh, of course, you'll need to know how to do a palm and how to do a mercury card fold. Set up and reset, there's really none other than making the envelopes. And, you know, since you're making them yourself, and, and if you had the card signed, the envelope and the card could be handed out as a souvenir. You don't need to keep your envelopes. They're so easy for you to make, you're not gonna, you're not gonna mind giving them away. So, positives. Lots of diversity in this, right? You're getting lots of ways to do a card to wallet, and you can find the, the version or the style that works best for you. Plus, it's not just a card to wallet, it's also a peak. So you get a little uh, extra bonus there with the peak, which means it's, it's got diversity, right? We, we like wallets that can do at least more than one thing. Negatives, the video is short, right? For an $80 wallet, 22 minutes is a little short. And the fact that, you know, he just kind of rushes through all the slights, I really wouldn't recommend this for a beginner. So I don't think that this is even targeted price-wise, probably at a beginner. So you're going to be an intermediate. But... Uh, is it worth your money? It's 80 bucks. $80, it's a gimmick wallet, does two really strong magic tricks, and it's real leather. 
and you can pick the color and style that works best for you, that's pretty awesome. But don't just take my word for it. Don't. Don't just take my word for it. Please. I am not the only magic reviewer out there, nor should I be, right? It's good to have the many voices that are out there and you should be watching them, especially when you're going to spend your money, especially when you're going to spend 80 bucks. This is your money. Spend it well. Make wise choices. So um, watch Champion Magic. He's got a great channel. Up and comer. Uh, definitely somebody that I would like and subscribe to. Uh, he even does a live performance, which is way better than me. Way better than me. I don't do live performances, right? I don't do live performances. He does. He's got the time to do it. So kudos. So go follow somebody uh, that does live performances. Absolutely. And then um, Real Magic Review. I love Real Magic Review. It's fantastic. Probably one of the best review channels on YouTube for sure. He deserves a lot more likes and subscribes and follows than he gets. And he's even got uh, a magic school too that you can subscribe to and learn magic. So another great channel. Hey, that's everything I can tell you about Comet. Big huge thanks to Andrew Dean. And of course, you can find this wherever quality magic is sold. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh, hey, and one more thing. Uh, one more thing. I know you've seen me in my videos wear this shirt a lot, the, the Magic Orthodoxy brand shirt. And I don't know if you know this, but this is not just a merch shirt. This is not just a shirt that has my brand. This is actually a magic trick. This is a magic reveal t-shirt that is available exclusively at my Teespring store. It was actually designed in Melbourne, Australia, and it is your 30-minute secret weapon because it looks like a seemingly innocent vintage tea, but all over this are six different magic reveals. So you got ESP reveals, coins, cards, the toxic forces on here, even a movie, and a lot more. You can use this as the grand finale of your entire close-up act. It's available in maroon, black, and gray. And I have another YouTube video that completely explains how to do a reveal for each one of these tricks. So I actually have a magic tutorial for this t-shirt on my channel. So it's, it's there. It tells you all about it if you want to learn more. Uh, or you can just go down to any one of the graphics that are down there. That'll take you out to the Teespring store if you click one of those. And... Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support.